Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today we're going to make another DIY from Dollar Tree. And this time we're going to use this letter board. And I bought two of them because I needed more letters, okay? So make sure that you have all the letters in one or two frames. And the material of this letter board is foam and aluminum, okay, for the frame. And the letters are plastic. So we're going to start painting the letters. And for that, I'm using this metallic paint in gold from Michaels. And you have to first um, make basic strokes on top. Try to cover as much as you can. But then let it dry and you are going to retouch, okay, uh, from one side to the other side, looking at all the white spaces so you can have them all covered and you will see how it looks in a minute when you are done touching them up okay as you can see i just give strokes on top and that's for the first coat so it needs two coats only okay but uh, it has a very beautiful um gold metallic tone and this is done with two coats and as you can see I'm checking from the sides and from top to bottom to see if there are any white spaces. Now I'm going to paint the board and for that I'm going to cover the metallic frame using a masking tape but you can use any kind of tape okay it can be the scotch tape or washi tape or any kind of tape and we don't want to go over many times and build up in there okay because we are going to make um long strokes on the on the board so once i'm done covering i'm going to clean my board okay for any debris and then we are going to um, start painting with um, acrylic paint. I'm using the acrylic paint from Walmart. It's about 60 cents and you will use not even one bottle. You will use um, maybe half of the bottle, okay? And now we are going to start painting and here is the paint and I'm going to use a medium brush, okay? And we are going to start with the first coat. For that one, and all of them, you are going to do just horizontally, okay? And brush it off very well, all the paint from side to side. And you won't cover um, everything at the beginning. It will look dark. But then let it dry and do the second coat. And then let it dry and do the third coat. And you will see how it covers and build up and make texture with the paint and all those strokes will look like wood. Now I'm applying the second coat and as you can see I did the bottom but for this time you are going to do long strokes okay from side to side apply more paint and then do long strokes no more the short ones only for the first one okay and then for the next three coats you're going to do like this very long strokes so the finish of this is going to look like wood because um the bristles of the brush leaves those fine lines that uh, make it look like wood okay so four coats is enough to cover everything and look white as you can see, I did a third one, and now this is the last one, the fourth uh, coat. And remember that you have to let it dry and apply the next coat, okay? Uh, it dries very fast. In maybe 15 minutes, you are done, okay, and to apply the second coat. Now I'm taking out the masking tape, and I'm going to let it dry very well, and I will apply the other color that i have for the frame i'm going to use another paint acrylic paint for that and i'm going to show you right now now my board is dry and as you can see i love the lines i love the texture now we're going to use a scrap of cardstock and we are going to cover 
the board like this okay we can add uh, put tape on top or it's going to be peeled so i'm going to use this paint and i will um put the cardstock and angle like this and then i'm going to apply the um other paint for the frame using a brush okay and i can freely go and paint it right and be careful with um brushing on top of the white ones so you have to do carefully and for this um frame you will use just two coats okay and after you're done with the paper you can touch up okay all the parts that didn't paint well and you have to do very slowly and carefully okay and then after you are done with that you are going to cover the sides don't uh you don't need to cover the back okay i didn't do anything in the back just on the sides and the front so you can just pass some strokes in there and then go to the next side and do the same thing okay and that's the first coat then you are going to let it dry for at least 15 minutes and then you can do the second coat okay so that's what i'm doing right here i'm applying uh only the first coat and then i'm going to continue okay to apply the second one and here is how it looks with two coats okay now we are going to cut the letters that are dry and we're going to use scissors and snip them and look they have a pin in the back those pins are for um placing them in between the cuts of the foam so um, be careful with that okay save the pins now that i got all the letters i'm going to place them on top of my board and i'm going to make sure that they are centered and they fit okay in the lines so it has some cuts and you decide where to put them okay so i'm going to arrange them and see how it will look and when i am happy with that i will start pressing them now that i have them all i'm going to start um pressing each one in between the cuts okay so i'm going to press the first one and the last one okay and i need to see that it has the same distance from the frame so i press those and then i try to center the other letters and then when you think that it's even you can start pressing them okay and the pin will um fit and stuck into the cuts and that's how it's um going to stay and the best thing of this letter board is that you can move the letters at any time for example if you put the word and you're not happy with it you can take them out and place them again until you like how it looks now my board is ready and i decorate it with flowers and some leaves see and this is how it looks i love it and looks how it was before can you see you can use the colors of paint that you want you can uh, decide on the um, embellishments and it will look amazing if you like this diy please share like and subscribe Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.